Did you just crash on me again? Oh, please don't crash on me. Please don't crash on me. Don't... Don't crash. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. You got to be joking me. Hey guys, Gizmo here, and let's get straight to the point. The game is out and everybody is enjoying. However, a lot of us, including myself as you can see, the game has been crashing randomly, just freezing, and there's been a lot of feedback on those things. Like, uh, a lot of people are complaining that it's freezing when you're using your inventory or just randomly just freezes with the music still playing on the background. So what I did is I went through all the support tickets and I went through all the threads on Reddit as well as on the CD Projekt Red forum as well as looked up um, the God troubleshooting uh, guide and uh, I put together a short list of few things that hopefully will improve your gameplay. Now just bear in mind that this will not fix it. This is because most likely because there are issues with drivers and the game itself so we have to wait for CD Projekt Red to release a patch most likely to fix most of these issues but saying that these things will probably improve your gameplay stability a lot and hopefully it will make it better for you and you'll be able to play at least longer than 30 minutes or an hour like I had in the beginning and it definitely did improve my game stability to begin with. So let's start off then guys. Uh, first things first, before you do anything else at all, do a clean install of your uh, display drivers. For that, go get a display driver uninstaller. You'll find a link in the description for it. Install it and cleanly remove any of the drivers that you have at the moment. It will recommend you to do it in safe mode. This is what I did. And then proceed and install the drivers again from their respective website. I'm using NVIDIA, so GTX minus GTX 970. A lot of GTX 970s and 980s were having a lot of trouble with the crashes. So um, go to the download drivers webpage and it has been recommended to get the previous driver, the ones that were meant for GTA 5. Now to get that, all you do is go to the download drivers page and then you click beta drivers and archive. You choose your product and you search and then you want to have this one here the Grand Theft Auto ready game drivers download that once you've cleanly removed the previous drivers reinstall that cleanly and what I mean by this is that when you're installing the drivers do not do express installation but rather do clean installation so what I mean is that when you are installing a driver at first in, at the installation options choose the custom option and then thereafter make sure that you tick the box for perform a clean installation once that is done you should be good to go once you have installed the drivers next thing you do is go to your NVIDIA control panel once that is open go to manage 3D settings once that is open, go to program settings and wait till it populates your programs over there. Once it has populated the programs for you here, go choose your Witcher 3 XF file. If it's not there, all you need to do is click add and from there you go browse. Go into your Witcher 3 folder, which is where you install your game. Click the bin file, uh, folder, 64. And there's your Witcher 3 extra. Just click open and it will be there. Once that is selected, scroll down to power management mode and make sure you choose prefer maximum performance. Once that is done, click apply and you're done. For AMD users, if you have similar options in your settings, then try to do that as well with your power management performance to maximum performance. Unfortunately, I don't use AMD cards. I don't know how it works. So I do apologize about that. But hopefully you'll be able to get this sorted as well. And the last thing before we go into the game settings is shutting down the NVIDIA streaming service. For that, go into your start bar and search services and view local services. Once you have that up and running, All you need to do is scroll down and find the NVIDIA 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? NVIDIA Streamer Service. Right click on that, click Properties first. Click Stop. And once that is done, Startup Type, select Disabled. This will allow you to basically get some additional uh, FPS in the game. It boosts your FPS in the game and performance overall as well in the game. Um, if you're using Windows 7, just go into the click on your starter button and then go into search and search for services or service and it should be having the same thing if it comes up the icon just right click run it as administrator and you should have the same options as this one here and lastly guys let's do some in-game tweaks just to make the game hopefully run even better for you all you have to do is go to your options go to your video and your graphics and set everything on to the high. I know that your PC might th run things on Ultra, however, till CD Projekt Red comes out with a patch to fix these issues, it has been recommended that you would put it everything on a high. From there onwards, switch off your VSync and set your maximum frames per second to unlimited. And lastly, what I've noticed is one of the recommendations was that the foliage visibility range, if you set that to medium or low, that should uh, also make things better for you. And also guys, don't forget to save frequently. The in-game option to quick save is F5. I didn't see the option in the key bindings by these F5 for you, so make sure you press that often, just in case if it still crashes, and you'll be able to uh, at least resume game, not losing too much gameplay or the progress. So there you have it guys. These are just some of the improvements that I have come across that people have recommended and have improved the gameplay in overall. I have included also links to both the subreddit as well as the technical support in the CD Projekt Red forums, as well as on the GOG itself troubleshooting page so that you can have a look if there is, because there's a lot more, a lot more information given and you can try out even further things if you want. But these are like the main things that I've noticed that come up and have improved the gameplay for you. So hopefully it works for you guys. If not, please let me know in the description and uh, we'll see what else we can come up with. If you find this useful, please share it, show it to everyone else and hopefully it works for you. Hopefully you'll be able to play the game without crashes and uh, the game will be better and you can enjoy it to the fullest. Thanks for watching. This has been Gizmo from Two Old Gamers and please subscribe for more Witcher 3 related videos and I hope you enjoy the content and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.